Hey everybody, Jay Krista, Say I Do Forever, coming at you in 2022. 2022. Yeah, Happy, New Year, Happy New Year, everyone. It's like around 8 o'clock in the morning. It is 8.23. 8.23 a.m. The very first video we're doing of 2022. Here we go. <laughs> Here goes another year. Are we ready for this? I am because I don't need Google because my wife knows everything. <laughs> That's a crazy cup. <laughs> I don't know everything. It's a true cup. No, I know a lot about things that mean nothing. I just don't need to go to Google. I just ask Krista. <laughs> it actually works out very well. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. Which actually brings us to my word of the year, which I didn't even want, which I've talked about a little bit as I was trying to figure it out. And here we are. On, I'm going to... I'm gonna take the plunge and go ahead and do trust. That's a good. That's I'm gonna good. trust that I don't know everything. I'm gonna trust. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, do you guys do? You're like a sponge. You like memorize everything so easily. Uh, no. You just do. No. Oh no, no, yeah. No. Yeah, she does. <laughs> She's not giving herself enough credit. Oh well. Do you guys do a word of the year? Do you guys do a resolution? Uh, a New Year's resolution. Um, do you do goal setting? I'm trying to think what are some other words that they use. Um, I actually looked up the definitions. I used to do res uh, New Year's resolutions and they always seemed like I'm going to be, I'm going to get healthy in this next year. <laughs> and then, you know, by January 15th, I was sitting down with a box of Oreos. <laughs> Or <laughs> I wish I could sit down with a box of Oreos. <laughs> or now, I'm gonna, now I can. I'm gonna exercise more. Um, and or I'm gonna read through the Bible, you know. And then I made it to Leviticus or something like that. Um, I looked up the definitions. So the definition of resolution is a firm decision to do or not to do something. Uh, or the second uh, version of that is. The quality of being determined to resolute, which is good, but if you're trying, the the hard part is I think a lot with resolutions is I think people put so much pressure on themselves that if they if they mess up at all, like a little bit, then they throw it out the window and they don't stick mm -hmm. with the resolution. It's it's almost like people put so much pressure on themselves instead yeah. of taking it just a little bit each day or each month they feel that if they don't do it perfectly stick with it like 100 percent or perfectly then, and they're then huge they, resolutions. they throw it out the window and they're like usually general yeah i think people in general i think people in general need to take and just do a small thing as a resolution and if they complete that then maybe they need to go and step it up a little bit and then step it up a little bit more i think people try to do this ginormous resolution and then when they fail mm -hmm. because it's it's way too big mm -hmm. then they give up and exercise is probably why do one of the we biggest wait ones a whole year to make a resolution instead why of starting right we like make today? like monthly resolutions like you said i like that idea of like a little step so you make stepping stones a small step would be i'm gonna do uh i'm gonna walk around the block Every day yeah, you of January. You don't say, well, next weekend I'm going to do a 5K marathon. No, and then... They, they would fail because February, they're February, you're like, I want to walk around two blocks. Yep. So that's a really good idea. I didn't think about that. So let's look at the definition of a goal, which is um, the object of a person's ambition or effort, an aim or a desired result. I feel like a goal has... A plan with it right right where a resolution is just I want to be a better it's just like I'm gonna resolve to do this and right. a, and I feel like a goal usually has a, a step of a plan to to make it happen right so like and why do we have to do one at the beginning of the year it's it the that's interesting uh, so I'm thinking I, correct me if I'm wrong, but mm -hmm. I'm thinking a goal would be a plan to get from point A to point B. 
a resolution is kind of a Hail Mary or <laughs> yeah. a wish list yeah. of, I really hope this works out, but if it doesn't, it was just a New Year's resolution. Yeah. It's like, well, you know, we all fail at resolutions by January. Well, look at all the countries that argue with each other and they all make, they write out a resolution. Do, the, do some of those countries actually stick to the resolution? Uh -huh. Not normally. Really? Mm-hmm. See, you know more than I do. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> you should be yeah, good. <laughs> they, they write a ceasefire, ceasefire resolution. And then all of a sudden somebody sends a missile over at somebody and then all of a sudden they're retaliating and then here we go again. Mm -hmm. But I think with the, um, the other direction, I mean, having a plan, mm -hmm. um, I think you would accomplish more. Yeah. And you would achieve the goal of that... Well, and making a group of goals that get to the bigger resolution. Right, but it can be stepping stones. I like the stepping stones a lot better. Because if you do it one little piece at a time, like, okay, so here's a perfect example. I'm studying online. I'm taking college courses uh, to do what I want to do. You know, I've been gone from my job for about nine months now. My old job, which is whatever, but... I'm taking these quizzes and exams and studying one piece at a time. And I have 30, what did I tell you? 30, 33. 33 left? 33 complete sections, which there's a lot in each section, so it's going to take me a little while. And a lot of quizzes and then an exam. Yeah, on exam on each section. But I've got three that I got certified in, so I have 33 left which I'm taking it one little piece at a time. Which you didn't at first. You kind of... Uh, I looked, at the, whole, I looked mm -hmm. at the whole picture at first and I was overwhelmed, but I changed my mindset and now I'm taking it one, one bite at a time. Mm -hmm. So anyway, it's exciting and uh, I'm hoping that that's where we get, yeah. get to. So... For the ultimate goal. Do you have... So that's your main goal for 2022. That's, that's a goal. That's why I'm your not goals. doing. I'm not doing a New Year's resolution. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a goal. My goal is to become certified 150 percent, and then, then do it by all the and, little goals to make it uh, yeah. do that. And then once I'm done with that, then go do that career. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm excited. I'm excited. It's right up my alley. It's in my wheelhouse, and um, it's not as. Um, it's not as difficult as I was thinking mm -hmm. or feeling that it was going to be. So, anyway. Yeah. That's, well, okay. That's so that's my goal. Let's ask you guys out there, our friends out there. Um, do you, have you made a goal or have you made a resolution? Um, have you know what are what are you doing this uh, New Year's to think back at um, your year, your past year, and how you can make changes and what you want to do better this next year. Um, we'd love to have you tell us about that in the in the description or in the comments. comments in the comments. Yeah, comments. Um, yeah, talk to us about that. And yeah. speaking of that, on our Facebook page, uh, Say I Do Forever Facebook, um, um, we have been doing these questions that actually start conversations. Um, and we've been using the uh, Vertelli's. game Vertelli's. Mm -hmm. And so you can actually go to Say I Do Forever uh, Facebook and you can see seven days worth of, actually there'll be one more tomorrow, so six days right at this point, of three questions a day um, that you can actually discuss with your spouse. Right. And I have to say, I really loved our discussion this morning. I woke up um, just with a dread this morning I didn't get a lot of sleep <laughs> and I just had a dread over another year and what the scary the things I was afraid of and um, with my word being trust I'm like what is God gonna make me trust him with <laughs> you know I so I just and then you came in you know and we just sat with some coffee and talked through it and mm -hmm. just the conversation together you turned me to seeing all the exciting things positive, coming up. The positive You know, stuff. there are going to be some negative things that are going to come up in our year. Um, but we're going to do it together. And right. there's going to be some negative things. There always is every year. 2020 was a year where we all sat here at, uh, 
you know, the beginning of the year and said, it's going to be a great year. Here's my resolutions and two months in, uh, none of us could do any of it. <laughs> so, so we don't know what the year brings, but there are some positives in staying. You help oh, me focus on those. And we need to stay in the positive. Why, why lose sleep over the negative? I mean, mm -hmm. people are going to pass away. We're going to lose loved ones. Um, it's just part mm -hmm. of life and there's nothing we can do about it to change it. All we can do is keep our focus. Well, and speaking ahead, of that, I mean, I, that might be why I had forward. a heaviness. Um, we have a, a, a friend that we've known since high school, a high school friend um, on our Facebook, and he lost his son uh, yesterday right. and um, tragedy. And then, you know, we woke up early this morning and found out another local friend um, had passed away yesterday. And then we have Betty White who passed away. And it all seems so, wow, we're go going into, the, their families are going into a new year without their loved one and how hard that is. That was hard on me. I think the only thing that, that would keep us going if one of our, heaven forbid, one of our kids passed away or my parents or whatever or your parents or whatever is that we have the memories of them yeah and the good times I mean we had bad times too but we also have good times and that we should focus on the good times and mm -hmm. the good memories and you help and me not lose sight of the good you help me focus on that because sometimes I can get into my depression mode and um, and you help me kind of come back out of that <laughs> so yeah. well and speaking of that let's um Actually, I thought maybe it. on here, I did it on my other channel and I just randomly grabbed out of the round, um, I have to find round one and round three. So round one is retrospect of the year before and you just can grab a random question and try to answer it and maybe you guys can answer it. You'll see a bunch of those questions on our Facebook page. Um, so round one, I'll pick one and you pick one and okay. let's answer them. And you guys, if you want to join us and maybe, uh, talk to your spouse and use these as discussion questions to talk to your spouse. Okay. Let's so do anything you want, let's hope he gets a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I want a new card. You want a new card? <laughs> no. Um, Oh. The past year in retrospect, what has kept you up at night? Ooh. So, in the, the past year in retrospect, I think the future. The future. Yeah. Um, with no job, you know, before. Now I know the direction I want to go, and, and it's giving me hope and uh, a better outlook on the direction. But... Um, I would have to say job, you know, mm -hmm. not having a job yeah, was, was what kind of stressful used to keep me up at night because okay, I'm gonna... you, you worry about that or you stress over that. Yeah. I wasn't worried about it, but just never worried about nothing. Oh yeah. I got my own worries. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let you just so nobody thinks I, um, um, rigged it. You can pick one for me. Okay. And I'll say, not that one. Ah, I'm Sorry. dropping them. Ooh, I have to pick three. Okay, which three people have influenced you the most this year, in year, in this last year? Um, I know Jay has because he what? influences me. Well, this morning he did. You, like, I get myself into a... Uh, and then you come along and you tell me, uh, look it, let's look at, it's good to have somebody that looks at everything from a different angle. Oh, we're partners in this, you know, we're mm -hmm. one unit, we're partners in this. So we should help each other move forward. If one mm -hmm. of us is down, the other one that's up needs to mm -hmm. help each other. Yeah. You know, so I was able to this morning to help you look at the 
mm -hmm. bright side of the positive side of things, which is good. And then the other one is, um, I'm just going to, the last two, I can't pick two people from, um, we have a small group here on Sunday nights, and um, those, we are able to kind of hash things out with our small group. Because mm -hmm. sometimes you've got to um, bring it out of your mind and out of what your thoughts are and say it and then they kind of help <laughs> go what are you thinking <laughs> no or just like am i thinking am i thinking this right so they've influenced us and also they've um they've made it so that i want to dig into the word of god i want to dig a little deeper because they ask the questions they're like is that biblical or is that traditional you're talking to people at bible study yeah yeah so cool Okay, round three, and then we'll move on to our next subject. Um, Again? This is in this coming year. Don't pick, don't look. <laughs> Am I not supposed to look? No, I'm not I supposed to answer like, the question. I thought you were. <laughs> no, no, no. Looking ahead to the upcoming year, to what are you most looking forward? Well, the new career. That was a no-brainer. <laughs> that was easy. Yeah. <laughs> kind to of, the new yeah. Career. I'm you excited. Have, you're excited for I the next, excited. next phase. Okay. What is your biggest wish for the upcoming year? I think it's the same thing that kept me up all night last night. It's the health and happiness of my family and my children. Mm -hmm. um, it's, I just want us all to be healthy and safe mm -hmm. you know um and that's happy good. and happy yeah that's good so okay and then what else are you guys what else can we talk about today about new year's um well let's just you you mentioned something about people passing away what about betty white was that a shock it was a shock to me i don't know if it was a shock to you guys i mean everybody knows that she was getting older she was 99 yeah i mean she was getting older but she was she was as smart as a whip man she was yeah i thought she'd get to her hundredth um they just advertised i think she just made the cover of a magazine um for her hundredth birthday celebration that was coming up and it's crazy. um yeah it's crazy like how can we go into 2021 without betty white yeah like she was our sanity our she you know she was funny oh she was and she hilarious. kept everything she light hilarious. and airy and had yeah. wisdom and grace well and she was she was um right in the middle of i read an article about her about how she was um she fought for um non-prejudice against african-americans and uh, she had a show and she had a african-american come on in i think he was a singer but was this um, back like back in the 50s or 60s uh -huh. yeah and so she had made the comment you don't like it too bad and oh. she kept going with it and shortly after that her show went off the air but she still she stood, stood her up. ground for right against yeah. racism yeah. Um, so, you know, I admired, I admire her for that, that that's one of the main things that she always tried to push. She didn't judge people. Nope. I feel like she just, <clears throat> nope. you know, loved people yep. and she was funny and. And I think she, at one point she, it looked like she was in the military because I saw a picture of oh. her. Yeah. It was her in a, uh army uniform or something and then a picture of her now and they had it side by side and it was a interview mm -hmm. or a report on her and it i didn't read it i guess i should have mm -hmm. but it looked like she also at one point was in the military as well Interesting. so yeah yeah i'm gonna go try to find that story again to see if it's accurate Wow, 2021 without yeah. her and without so many well, great we, people. Krista and I watched the thing that all the people that passed away in 2021, it was just insane. I mean, the video on YouTube that mm -hmm. say the people that we lost in 2021, just famous people, and it was took forever, huh? Yeah. It was like one right after the other. Mm -hmm. And it was some good, hilarious people that passed mm -hmm. away this last year. Yeah. So... 
but with that we have to press forward and we have to look to 2022 as hopefully being a better year yeah. and full of excitement and to be positive i know and We've not e eeyore we need because to still have hope yeah it's not going to accomplish anything if we are eeyores about it i remember a saying that said um you know i think the human body can live like 40 days without food i can't remember how many days without water like five minutes without air, but they can't live one minute without hope. And mm. hope is incredible. If you have lost hope, it's almost like there's a despair. So you need to find hope. Right. And hang on to right. hope because that's what's going to get you to the next level. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's horrible um, to uh, have depression pull you down like weights. Uh, Krista and I have both suffered from depression in the past and uh, it's a horrible feeling. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you feel like you weigh 5,000 pounds and that you can't even get up out of bed and you don't want to eat and you don't want to do anything. All mm -hmm. you want to do is just lay there or sleep and people need to not have to live that way. Mm -hmm. um, well, you know, and how can we to, in 2022 give hope to others around us like how do we spark that hope in others well through our channel we can pray for people yeah. anybody can send us a email because mm -hmm. our email address is on our page mm -hmm. and uh they in the can, about i think section in the about and then mm -hmm. also people can uh, message us on messenger um find us on there find us on facebook there's mm -hmm. all kinds of ways people can contact us and uh if they have a prayer request and we would be more than willing we would love that to, to pray for to people pray for and if they're suffering from depression there's no reason why they should go this alone uh -huh. uh, especially there, in their marriage there is hope mm -hmm. and you can hang on to hope a little light-hearted hope is that the rose parade has returned <laughs> i'm telling you guys that is huge for me. Last year, what what did I do? Oh the gosh. whole day, I just kept searching through all the TV. There's no Rose Parade. What do you mean there's no Rose Parade? I cannot go on with it. I'm I sorry. Think la I think last year I had to play a previous year Rose Parade for Krista on yes. YouTube just so she could have that experience <laughs> of the Rose Parade. It was actually very funny. I know it's silly. I know it's really, really silly because, but I grew up in Southern California and I can't remember a time that there wasn't a rose parade. And I even had friends who were working, who were pedal pushers. Um, well, your mom and your sister. Yeah, they, they were pedal pushers mm -hmm. at one time. I've had a lot of friends that spent time being pedal pushers. And that's just a volunteer that glues on the flowers or whatever. Yeah. And you'll go and put so many hours in um, and everything. And I, I don't know, it just brought cheer to the, the new year. And I know right. when we moved up... Uh, here to Idaho, um, the first couple of years there wasn't a lot of coverage and it was before YouTube and it was almost 30 years ago. And I remember in those years I, I was having a hard time finding the Rose Parade on TV and those were desperate. Like, what do you mean it's New Year's Day and I can't see the Rose Parade? <laughs> <laughs> you know? I need the Rose Parade. Um, I don't That's know, funny. and I don't always just sit and stare at it. In fact, if you notice, we, she, st we still have our tree up. She just likes the Rose Parade on in the background. In the she'll background. watch it for a little bit, and then she'll go about her business, whatever she's working on or doing, and then she'll go back and watch it a little bit. But yeah, mm -hmm. but each year, as far as our Christmas tree, each year that we have a tree, we have it up until New Year's Day, and then we take it down. Yeah, so... So today it will be going down. I, I like to take the decorations down while the Rose Parade is playing in the background. It's a childhood memory. All of the ornaments have memory as I pack them up for the next year. Sure. Um, so I will be cleaning my house and taking down the decorations and preparing for the next year. And it's gonna be a good day. The Rose it's Parade really is here. And there's YouTube now. So even though we don't have an official real TV kind of antenna, we, I'll probably do a live stream 
uh, as well. on YouTube. It's possible now. So. Yeah, anything's possible now. See, there's hope. Yeah, it's 2022. <laughs> it's 2022. <laughs> <laughs> and so just so you guys know, the other thing that happened is yesterday, we sat down with my parents and did mm -hmm. um, an interview, the first of our interview. We're, we're thinking in 2022 of um, doing a lot of, I have a lot of contacts in the wedding industry. Mm -hmm. And so um, we're thinking of contacting some friends of ours that are florists and also a couple and mm -hmm. um, sit down with them and not only talk about uh, wedding stuff and flora stuff but then about marriage stuff with them yeah uh, we've got some people that are we know in um, that do uh, party planning and decorating the special occasion yeah so we've seven. got so um, look for those as soon as I can connect with these people and stuff like that but we thought we would start um, since my dad this coming year will be 80 years old uh, my mom just turned 75. They've been married for 53 years. And so we went over to their house yesterday and had to clear a lot of snow to get there. <laughs> but uh, it's okay. we sat down with them and just asked them uh, a lot of the questions that some of you guys did on Facebook um, and uh, just about their childhood, you know, stuff like that. And it was a really good day. Yeah, and a lot of it pertained to their marriage too. You know, how'd you meet? you know where did you go for your first date you know um what is the one most important piece of information you could give to other marriage couples mm -hmm. married couples so yeah yeah it was good question and you'll want to tune time. in because um they did not have a perfect you know peaceful quiet marriage theirs was very they had some really hard rocky times and they made it through yeah and so you know, I see that um, consistent love and that loyal love in them uh, through yeah. the hardest of times. Yeah. So, and uh, so that will air tomorrow morning. We were going to do it on Monday, and we thought, why not just go ahead and air it tomorrow while everybody's off for the weekend? As well. <laughs> so, but that's what we're doing today. Cleaning. Are you doing anything? Tearing, tearing a tree down and uh, putting everything away and getting it vacuumed and cleaned up, and then. Uh, it's going to feel good. After that, you're going to watch Rose Parade, and I'm going to go study some more. <laughs> He's excited so, to study. Yeah. Who'd have thought? Anybody who knew me in high school knew that knows that I do not like to study anything <laughs> or take or take quizzes or exams or any of that. Both Jay and I almost didn't. Out. We met in high school, and yep. um, we were more concerned about dating and having fun and both of us came very close to not graduating because of it. <laughs> That's because we were interested in each other, not school. Who cares about school? <laughs> we were ready Which, for the rest of our the, lives. Well, there at the end, we cared about school because oh, yeah, we wanted we, to graduate. We pulled it together really, really fast. Yeah, I remember our economics teacher. <laughs> we both had the same economics teacher, and I had it uh, like first period, no, third period, and Krista had it like fifth period. And she told both of us, she called us both in at the same time. She said, look, you guys need to, I know you guys are all lovey-dovey, but you guys need to get with the program and you, need to get, you guys need to start studying and passing these tests and all this stuff. Uh -huh. Or you won't graduate. Neither of you are going to graduate. And so we turned things around and we started to accelerate and get better grades. And, and mm -hmm. we got it to where we, where we graduated. But anyway. Yeah. But here he is being Mr. Studious, and all he wants to do, I'm like, um, hey, do you want to go do this? Well, I really wanted to study today. Well, I got I mean, I got a long road ahead of me, and I'm trying to take it a chunk at a time. Yeah. You know, but I'm hoping within the next three to six months that I have it all done, and that I'm certified, and that I can go do my thing and, mm -hmm. and uh, contribute to the house payment and everything else. So. <laughs> it's going to be a good year. Yep. Should we do a little toast before we go yep. to a good year? Here's to 2022. 2022. And 2022 to all of you. Um, may God bless you guys mm -hmm. greatly this year. And yep. we hope that uh, we get to hear about all of the goodness that God gives you. Uh, yeah, in go in the comments year. section. Don't be bashful. Go in the comments yeah. section. Tell us how you guys are doing and what we can pray for you guys about and yes. you know how it's going and if you haven't subscribed subscribe yeah we have some fun stuff coming up this yeah. coming year like the video subscribe to our channel mm -hmm. heck yeah share so yeah 
From our marriage to yours. Jane Krista, helping you say I do forever. Till next time, see you guys. Bye.